Hello everyone, my name is Kirsten Gonzalez and I'm Robert Odom and we are counseling psychology doctoral students at the University of Kentucky. We are also members of the Psychosocial Research Initiative on Sexual Minorities or the PRISM Research Team. Our co-authors on this paper are our mentors and the directors of the PRISM Lab, Dr. Sharon Rostowski and Ellen Riggle. Dr. Sharon Rostowski is a professor and the director of clinical training in the Counseling Psychology Program, which is housed in the Department of Educational School and Counseling Psych at the University of Kentucky. And Dr. Ellen Riggle is a professor in the Departments of Gender and Women's Studies and Political Science at the University of Kentucky. To provide a little background information on our article, a lot of the past research has focused disproportionately on the negative physical, emotional, and mental experiences of LGBTQ individuals. So our Family Process article set out to extend the past research that our co-authors have conducted on the positive aspects of sexual minority experience. So the goal of their past research and our current research article are to provide a better balance in the literature between the attention paid to problems and the attention given to positive experiences and strengths. So over the past few years, our co-authors have conducted several qualitative studies on the positive aspects of identifying as lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. Our Family Process article really set out to extend their findings by looking at the positive aspects of parenting a lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer child. The goals of our research are twofold. First, we're interested in understanding what's positive about parenting an LGBTQ-identified child. Second, as counselors in training, we are hoping to be able to help parents who are struggling with negative attitudes about having an LGBTQ-identified child. So past research on parenting LGBTQ-identified children focuses on the process that parents go through after learning about their child's identity. Our research looks more at the long-term and lasting positive experiences that these parents have. We hope that our findings will help guide counselors to work with their clients to form more positive narratives about their child's identity. So in our article, we suggest ways in which our findings can be applied to psychoeducational as well as counseling interventions for parents of LGBTQ identified children. We also hope that future research will continue to examine the positive aspects of other types of ally relationships. For instance, friendship networks that include LGBTQ identified individuals. So we hope you enjoy our article. For more information about this project and our other research projects, please visit www.prismresearch.org.